What's up everybody? It's your boy Tanner Wyman and today we've got a total body home dumbbell workout. Like I said, all you're gonna need is some dumbbells. We're gonna go through a couple of body weight exercises. We're hitting lower, we're hitting the core, and we're hitting upper body. Let's get ready to get this one. Alright, to get this started, we're just gonna go through a warm-up, five exercises for 10 repetitions. The first one we're gonna get started with here is just some butt kicks. So we're gonna get 10, that's five on each leg. Ready and go. And we're just getting those arms moving a little bit too as we loosen up the lower body, loosen up the upper body, and get ourselves a little bit warm for this workout we got pending. Three more, two, one more, and good. Now at a slow pace, we're gonna be going here, we get some high knee marches. So bring that knee up towards the chest. Five on each, 10 total, ready, go. Knee up, nice and high. Stretching the glutes, stretching the hamstrings, getting those arms involved, getting that trunk involved too. Slowly bringing up that heart rate. One more in each, and good. Now we're gonna get the core. We got here, simple trunk rotations. You have your hands up here, it's just what I like to do. You're gonna rotate to the left, and then you're gonna come back, rotate to the right. Five for each side, 10 total. Ready, and go. Just getting those Abdominal muscles nice and stretched, that lower back stretch, the oblique stretch, four, getting that mid back stretch too, five, six, three more, two, you might hear some popping, that's okay, as long as it doesn't hurt, you're totally fine, and good, okay, for our final two exercises here, warm up exercises, we're going to be getting arm circles, first one we're going to be getting is going forward, so I want not as big as you possibly can go, and not as shallow, but a nice distance in between there, just a, a happy medium. So we're gonna get 10 total. Ready and go, and so these are forward facing, slowing under control, getting some of that rotator cuff warm up in there, and also you're gonna notice the shoulder muscles are gonna be pretty warmed up by the end of this one too. You might feel a little bit of pain. That's totally okay. We got three more, and then directly after this, we're gonna be getting them going backwards. And to the back now. Good, nine, eight, nice, slow and controlled, seven, and you're gonna feel those shoulders start to burn, I, I definitely can, six, five, good, four more, and after this, we're gonna pick up the dumbbells, we're gonna get into our first exercise, which is gonna be some front lunges, two more, last one, and good. Grab the dumbbells here, and the first exercise, like I said, is gonna be alternating front lunges, so you're gonna start from one position, Coming forward, nice and far so that knee doesn't go over the toe, and then coming back. We're gonna be alternating each leg for 10 repetitions each, 20 total. Ready and go, coming down nice and slowly. That knee can just tap the ground. We do not want it slamming, that will cause injury. Gonna get some activation of the quads, those glutes, and a little bit from the hamstrings too, actually. Five, six, Driving from the heel as we're coming back up there. Seven, eight, nine. Make sure that you're always breathing here. 10, eight more. Seven, good. Six, five, four, Three, two, last one, and good. Okay, for our next exercise, we got stiff legged deadlifts. So feet about shoulder width apart, putting the dumbbells together. You're gonna bend down at the hips, keeping your legs straight, bring the dumbbells just below the knees, and then you're gonna come right back up. So bring them down nice and slowly, hands gliding against the legs, and then coming right back up. We got 20. Ready, and go. Making sure that that lower back stays nice and straight the whole time there. Three, making sure that we're always breathing here. Never holding that breath. Six, seven. And you notice what I'm doing here is I'm pushing my butt back to help me Increase the amount of flexibility I have when bending down. And uh, 
It also makes it a lot easier on that lower back too. We've got 10 more. Because when you don't, you're gonna have to pivot off of your toes. It makes it just extremely difficult. So we push your butt back here. That's when you're really gonna be able to nail the exercise and target those hamstrings as well as those glutes. Five more. Four. Three. Good. Two. Lower back nice and straight. One more. And good. Okay. Finish off the lower body portion of the circuit. We got some thigh slap jumps. These are tremendous. So what we're doing here is you get a fair distance off the ground. You got to get a decent vertical. But the goal is to get your knees up as high as you possibly can. I'll demonstrate this. Just getting some decent air and then bringing those thighs up to the chest as high as you can. We got 10 repetitions. Ready and go. Good. As high as you can get those knees up. Give yourself a second in between repetitions. Let's catch your breath. Six more. Five, halfway. Good, four more. Three more, bringing those knees up as high as you can. Two. Last one, last one. Good work. Catch a break here. Get some control of your breathing. And we're gonna get into the upper body and core portion of our workout. So grabbing our dumbbells here. First exercise we're gonna be doing is to target the upper back. We're gonna be doing some dumbbell rows here. So we've got 20 repetitions. So what this is gonna look like, feet about shoulder width apart, back on about a 45 degree angle. You're gonna be bringing the dumbbells up towards the torso. And the goal here is to squeeze your shoulder blades together. This will help maximize the amount of targeting that you get on the upper back. It's also great for hitting that rear delt or back of the shoulder. So we got 20 repetitions here. Ready and go. Making sure that you really squeeze the hell out of the shoulder blades at the top there. We're not just lifting this with our arms. This is an upper back exercise. Always breathing. That's it. Good. Halfway. Ten more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Butt out. One more. And good. Ooh. Okay. We're going to be hitting the deck here. We're going to get in our chest now. We're going to be getting some dumbbell floor presses. So a little bench press just off the floor. The range of motion is a little bit limited, but you do what you can when you got a home dumbbell workout here. So you're gonna carry the dumbbells here, bring them up, and bring them down here, and then popping them back up. We're gonna be getting 20 repetitions. I don't want you pausing at the bottom, and I don't want you pausing at the top. Fluid and consistent motion. We got 20. Ready? And go. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. You might notice the grip I have here. My elbows on about a 45 degree angle. They're not completely straight out as of such. This will just help to reduce the amount of roll that my shoulders play, engage the chest, and protect my rotator cuff as well. Seven more. Six, five, four, three, two more. Last one, and good. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, grabbing one of the dumbbells here. We got 20 crunches, so just laying this on the chest. The goal here, get those shoulder blades off of the ground. Keep that chin off of the chest. We got 20, I want you to try not to swing the weight, but contract with your abdominal muscles and totally destroy them. We wanna get a six pack, that's how you do it. 20 repetitions. Ready, and go. Nice and slow, under control. Getting the shoulder blades off the ground every time. Holding that there at the top for a second, and coming right back down. As soon as the head touches the ground, firing right back up. Squeezing with those upper abdominals there. Eight, nine, 10, halfway. Nine, eight, keeping that chin off the chest. Always breathing. Six, 
five, four, keep good tempo here, three, really squeeze at the top of those abs, one more, and good work. All right, next exercise. Okay, what we got here, some dumbbell overhead presses, and this is actually gonna be very tough. So standing up here, we're gonna have our dumbbells out about shoulder width apart, pressing above the head. Now I don't want the dumbbells to come and connect together. That makes it pretty easy. Keep it out here, it's much more difficult for your shoulders. So we got 20 repetitions. And let's get this in, it's gonna be tough, so try to push through it. Ready, and go. Get a nice controlled motion here. No pausing at the top or on the bottom. Keep the muscle under tension the entire time. No resting. Eight, nine, ten. That's it. Halfway. Eight more. Seven. Always breathe and never hold your breath. Five more. Four. Three. Two more. Last one. And good. You can toss the doubles down for a second. Shake it out. We got our final two exercises. We're hitting the guns next. We have triceps first, then we're coming to the biceps. Woo! Let's catch our breath, keep the body moving, and let's finish this thing up. So, first exercise is overhead extensions. So you're just gonna be using one dumbbell. If you want to push, you can go ahead and use two. I myself am just using this one. You're gonna bring it over your head, and what we're doing here, I'll show you from the side, is we're pivoting at the elbow, bringing the dumbbell down, and extending to bring it back up. Ensure that those elbows are tight to the head and they're not out there. Nice and tight to the head. So if you're ready and I'm ready, let's get these last 20 repetitions for this exercise and finish it off with our final exercise right after. Ready and go. One, two. You definitely don't want those elbows flaring out because at that point, it'll begin to become sort of a pressing movement Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna need to take a break. Woo. Definitely gonna notice the burn on the triceps from that one. And then we're getting our last set of 20 for this one here. Nine, eight, seven, six. Oh, feeling that burn. Five, four, three. Keep pushing. Come on. Two more. Last one. And good. Woo. Those triceps are burning. Last exercise here. We're gonna be grabbing both the dumbbells and we're gonna be doing some supinated curls. So we're not doing a hammer grip where your palms are facing in. I want them facing outwards. It's gonna increase the intensity. And we got our final set of 20 here. Let's push through this one. We're gonna finish our workout. Ready and go. Now I want you to try not swinging the weight. The less you swing, the more your biceps are gonna have to work. And as a result of that, some more definition and size on the biceps. Seven, eight, nine, 10, halfway, 10 more and we'll finish this workout. Nine, eight, seven, six. Keeping those five more. Dumbbells, super native grip, palms facing the whole time. Three more, two, last one. Good work. Ah, you killed that one with me. Man, my biceps are burning. That one was extremely tough, but we both did. Fantastic job. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to give a like down below. And also be sure to comment. Let me know how far you were able to get. What do you want to see in the next video? What exercises? More of a warm up, less of a warm up, more of a cool down? Be sure to let me know down below and I will do my best to create these workouts as perfect as I can for you guys. Other than that guys, I'll see you in the next workout.